vibrate. Welcome to Black Hole Recordings. Two hours of the best in trance, techno, house, and progressive. Hosted by the world's leading dance label. Black Hole Recordings. Hello everyone, welcome to the show where our house is your house. Great, you're listening again to the Black Hole Recordings Radio Show. In this week's episode number 290, we have an extensive track list full of new singles and remixes that currently grace the track lists of many big names in the industry. As a straight follow-up to last week's episode in which we featured a mini special for Ed Brown's upcoming artist album Something for the Pain, we now have Ed Brown in the studio for an exclusive interview about the release. He will tell us a lot more later on, so stay with us and don't miss it. And the guest mix in the second hour will be delivered by Ed Brown as well, so it'll be plenty of music and entertainment for everyone. Now let's begin the show with a hot new single straight from our promo department. Here is Airscape featuring Rod Bout with Promise. Oh, 
Welcome to Black Hole Recording. Captivate. Communicate. Celebrate. of the best in trance, techno, house, and progressive. 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 Turn day. 
I'm Tiesto and you're listening to the Black Hole Recordings Radio. Captivate, communicate and celebrate. Let's go inside. Tom Colantonio featuring Amber Noel with See the Light. And before them, we had Sean Tyus and Noah Neiman with Fisher, who presented their new single, Lose My Logic, in the melodic mix. And as mentioned in the introduction, we will now move on with the Ad Brown interview. And as we already saw in our show from last week, Ad is about to release his brand new artist album, Something for the Pain. And Ad is now in the studio with us to talk about it. Hello, Adam. Welcome to the Black Hole Recordings radio show. How are you doing? Hi, guys. Yeah, I'm doing really well, thank you bit cold i've just converted my attic into a studio so it's great in the summer it gets nice and warm but of course in the winter it's pretty cold up here so i've got a couple of heaters on but i'm doing good and i'm pleased to be here we guess you've been busy lately with the conclusion of the album and what are the most important things you've been doing these last few weeks wow crikey there's so much to think about especially in the lead up to the album you know when you put so much time and effort into uh, collaborating and writing this new material uh, it's really all kind of comes to a head when you get close to the release date. So it's just making sure that I've got everything in place in terms of kind of guest mixes, radio interviews like this, press and PR work and press releases for the album, making sure that we have all the artwork complete, updating SoundCloud, YouTube, Facebook. I'm just about to launch the Black Hole uh, Facebook app actually which looks really really great and you'll be able to link into the album for that so there really is a huge amount to think about just coming up to the release of the album but it's definitely the ex most exciting part of it I think. Okay and how long did it take to finalize the album and when did you start working on it? Well I had the idea to write an album a while ago actually and I think you know there's a too soon and there's a too late for your very first artist album and for me it just seemed like the right time. I actually got the idea while traveling and I've was lucky enough to be able to record some sounds while traveling so in one of the tracks sorry there's actually some thunder and rain which i recorded uh, in a botanical garden in bali so it's cool to be able to kind of pick up a few bits and pieces while traveling and as soon as i got back i made uh, i made a start on it but really the majority of the tracks have kind of come to light in the last couple of months where i've been really really focused on it so i'd probably say from kind of september onwards been a huge push towards getting some collaborations in place and really kind of hammering it in the studio uh, but I think the end result has been really great and I'm really excited to kind of share that with you guys. Now there are several artists that feature on the album can you tell us how you met up with these people to make the music? Well I think technology means that nowadays you can write music with people all over the world and you know for the last couple of years I've been building links and connections with um, some really talented artists and so to be able to work with those guys for the album has been fantastic. So, you know, to name a couple of them, Antonio Lucas, based in LA. Steve Kitzel is based in the east coast of the US. Uh, Kerry Lever just moved to LA. Stan Kolev in Miami. Hannah Ray in Brighton. And Sean Matiska in Colorado. So there's a real kind of spread of people. But technology means that you can, you know, throw uh, logic projects backwards and forwards. You can work on ideas. You can chat on Skype. So it's really exciting. I mean, although it's obviously great to work with people face to face, it's just not practical sometimes. Another thing, of course, is influence and inspiration. Where do you get your inspiration from? Well, I think inspiration can come from all around. You know, for me, certainly, it comes from 
different music that I listen to. So sometimes I might hear a deep house track and a melody or a top line or a bass groove that I really think that I can take, work with and incorporate into my own productions. Sometimes it can come from your surroundings, literally. A couple of tracks in the album, I've actually used samples from uh, things that I've heard while traveling. Certainly in terms of collaborating, I think it's quite an organic process. So if Steve's working on a, a collaboration, he may send a Logic project over to me. I might pick up some ideas or hear something that I want to work with. And I'll just kind of add to it and it'll build and grow organically. The one thing we all want to know, of course, is will you go on tour to promote the album and where can we see you? Well, back into this year, I've got some great shows lined up. I'm going to be in Leeds on the 6th of December with In Progress for an album launch party. And then over Christmas, I'm going to be in India, a place that I've been to a few times. So I'm really excited to go back there. And I'm going to be playing in Chennai and uh, Bangalore on New Year's Eve with Prof and Alexi Sonar. And that's with the Tenzi FM guys for loud events. So I'm looking forward to that. And then next year's kind of an open book. I'm looking to get back to Australia uh, and set up a couple of shows there. And then most likely I'm going to be in Jakarta and Indonesia before heading over to the US. So it's looking like a busy year, an exciting year, and I can't wait to get stuck in. All right, Adam, thanks a lot for your time. You're very welcome, Black Hole. Thanks for your support. Thanks for having me on. I hope you guys enjoy the album as much as I do, and I'll see you soon. I'm Giuseppe Taviani and you're listening to the Black Hole Recordings Radio Show. Captivate, communicate, celebrate.
And those were the mesmerizing sounds by Giuseppe Taviani featuring Steven Pickup with the extended version of Illusion. Up next are the manufactured superstars featuring Danny Rouge with Like Satellites in the Shogun and IO remix. Hi, this is Julie Thompson and you are listening to the Black Hole Recordings radio show. Captivate, communicate, celebrate. And you're listening to Black Hole Recorders Radio with DJ Red. Captivate, communicate, celebrate. I've been waiting for this man 
И вы слушаете Black Hole Recordings Radio. Black Hole Recordings, Captivate, Communicate, Celebrate.
painted black Where colors should unfold You drown in doubts And lost me there And I have my doubts But not this year Bonjour, c'est Mr. Sam. Vous écoutez le Black Hole Radio Show. Captivate, communicate and celebrate. And there we have the single Fall From Grace by the Freestylers featuring Michael X, which was preceded by T and Sugar and their track Give Me. This week we'll close the first hour with a fine selection of forgotten classics, all tracks that everyone recognizes in a heartbeat and that have had a major influence on today's electronic dance music. Successively you can listen to the following four jewels, Moyado with Cactus, Finn with Close Encounter, DJ Preach with Broken Inside, and last but definitely not least, Jonas Stir with Born for the Night.
this is BT. You are listening to Black Hole Recordings Radio Show with my man, DP Red. Captivate, communicate, and celebrate. Check it out. Dit is Finn en je luistert naar Black Hole Recordings Radio. Captivate, communicate, celebrate.
two hours of the best in trance, techno, house, and progressive.
Tiesto and you're listening to the Black Hole Recordings Radio. Captivate, communicate and celebrate. 